Tis the season of indulgence, food, booze and overspending. Dr Tamara Hunter is in to help us tackle at least one of these. Good afternoon, Dr Hunter. Hi, Tracy. Christmas parties, end of school wind-ups. There's plenty of opportunities to drink and drink too much. Why are hangovers worse after 30? <laughs> well, Australians have always been known as a nation of drinkers and unfortunately, or fortunately, at our festive times, that consumption tends to go up. Now, um, one of the issues as we get older is that our systems tend to be less robust than they were mm. when we were younger. So, for example, our fat mass compared to our muscle mass, mass tends to go up and so therefore our blood alcohol concentration levels go up. Um, we have a liver that doesn't uh, metabolise alcohol as well and so alcohol tends to hang around. And as we age, we also tend to be on medications that can interact with alcohol, things like antidepressants, anti-anxiolytics, blood pressure medications, okay. blood thinners, even diabetic medications. So alcohol can be a bit of a problem as we age. And, and yeah, well, alcohol can be particularly rough on those aged over 65. Why is that? Well, as, as we get older, there are certain faculties that decline, uh, things like our reflexes, our vision, mm -hmm. our hearing, even our balance. And then you throw alcohol in on top of that, it tends to exacerbate those things. So older populations, they're more at risk of falls, slips, even car accidents. Chronic alcohol consumption can also exacerbate things like dementia, musculoskeletal problems, fatty liver disease, cardiovascular disease. So the problems with alcohol last well beyond the time in which we've sobered up. All right, so what are your tips for party goers this festive season? Okay, so it's really important to know what a standard drink is and what the recommendations mm -hmm. are. For both a man and a woman, it's two standard drinks per day with a couple of alcohol-free days. And if you're going to save it all up and have it on Saturday night, <laughs> you really don't want to have more than four standard drinks in any one mm -hmm. setting. So know what a standard drink is. A bottle of beer, for example, is 1.4 standard drinks. So set your maximum and monitor your intake. Make sure that you don't drink on an on an empty stomach because uh, food will help to stop the absorption. Maybe even have a, a, a wine glass mm -hmm. or a champagne glass with some sparkling water in it to deter people from, from continually offering you drinks. And of course, Tracy, don't drink and drive. Absolutely. Just with those standard drinks, the number of standard drinks, does that reflect all generations here? I mean, if you're a bit older, say over 65s, should there be more of a limit? At the moment, the Australian recommendations don't really okay. take age into account. It is a standard across the population but absolutely it would make sense to perhaps slow down the drinking yeah. as we age. All in moderation. All absolutely. right Dr Tamara Hunter thank you very much. Thank you.